So the greatest mystery I ever saw was by a lady who called herself the Gypsy Lady. She did this trick where she would take an antique from you, she would hold her hand over the antique, and just by picking up the vibrations of that object, she would tell you all about the history of the object from before you even owned it. Now the reason this is the greatest mystery I ever saw was because it will always remain a mystery. We'll never know for sure whether what she was telling us was even real. Aura is a trick that comes from my parlor repertoire. It's a trick I traditionally do with audience set in front of me and I love to do it because it involves lots of the audience. It has a really interesting presentation, uh, but most importantly, it's a fascinating plot that is really deceptive. We're gonna have three people touch objects, in this case, some playing cards. Uh, so let's uh, start with you. You will get to select cards for uh, three people, so say stop. Here, this is your card. Uh, you take yours as well. You take yours. Like you ought to look at your cards. Perhaps you could show yours to this side of the room. You show yours here and you show yours to this side. So I'd like you to just place your card into the deck. But when you do that, don't touch any other cards because I'm going to pick up on the vibrations of you touching that card. So throw it in. Great. You're next. And finally, you're next. And would you shuffle the cards for me? Give them as much of a mix-up as you like. So all three remember their cards. Let's try this. We will start with your card. I need to pick up on your vibrations. This sounds strange, but extend your index finger like this and just touch mine. That should be enough to pick up the vibrations. Here we go. Sounds strange, but this side of the deck feels cold to me. So let's, let's get rid of those and go over here. All right, I'm being drawn to here. In fact, exactly this card. For the first time, what was the name of your card? The Four of Cups. The Four of Cups. <laughs> now, there's a problem here, of course, because I can see the card. So maybe there's some way I'm doing something sneaky. So now we will eliminate my sense of sight. I will place the cards into my pockets, and you're up next. Extend your index finger and just touch mine. I think I have it. This time, just by the sense of touch. I'm getting vibrations from this card. What was the name of your card? Jack of Spades. The Jack of Spades. <laughs> One more to go. You know what to do. Extend your index finger. Wait, do that again. For some reason, you feel different. In fact, I think you feel special. I think you'll be able to find your own card. Stand up for me. You're gonna reach into my pockets and I'd like you to take out whichever card feels right to you. Now when magicians often do this, maybe there's some way that a card is sticking out of the deck more than others or, or something like that. Or, or maybe you think I'm trying to get you to take the top card or the bottom card, but I'm not. I want you to take a genuine choice, riffle through the deck, go for whichever one feels right. And when you have it, bring it out and hold it face down. For the first time, tell us the name of your card. Um, Jack of Diamonds. Jack 